again and coordinated. This is the Country Rep Report. It's your boy Vic XL. Howdy, Bubba. <laughs> what up? What you do, Spank? We're coordinated. I, I noticed that off the rip. Oh, dope. I'm okay, gonna give man. me a hat. I'm uh, a, I might go to Party City today and go get me a hat. I I'm might get a hat. You telling these people I got my hat? Okay, I'm still in your flow. I'm sorry. Tell them why I got my hat. I, is your head bigger than mine? Pause. Probably. Oh, because this one here, this is the one on the on the Franklin Embry show that I talked about with uh -huh. in my head. So right. it'll rest here now. Okay. Okay. And then I look, I just found a big buck knife that I need to put on the set. I don't know how to incorporate it, but I was um so I have to demolish my grandmother's house due to city ordinances. So in the process of demolishing the house, I've just been going through finding like things, like artifacts. Just okay, stuff. cool. Um, it's actually an adventure, man. I'm finding because you know my grandmother, her house was a, was a two story house. The bottom level was a was a store, a convenience store. Okay. In the seven in the sixties, seventies, and eighties, so it hasn't been open since 1986. So wow. Yesterday I found a sign. First of all, I in the in the nineties I tried to um, take a portion of it and open a music store, my first ever business venture. And I had hung posters. Uh -huh. But in the process of me rebuilding, in the process, the day I, I finished building it out and I opened one weekend and I was only going to open on the weekends. And the second weekend I opened, it was a music store. It was the original basement, basement music. Mm -hmm. The second weekend it rained and flooded. So it was only open for one weekend. But in turn, I was able to move it to a flea market and the rest is basement backstage history. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Funny thing though, in the process of me cleaning this out or getting the things I don't want demolished, I found a promo picture of tragedy, I'm sorry, of the intelligent hoodlum who later became tragedy Gaddafi. I still don't know who that is. Okay, he's an East Coast artist. If you okay, Google, okay. if you Google him, he will definitely come up. He was mm -hmm. um part of the Ju. He's one of the last members of the Juice Crew. I remember Juice Crew, okay. but I don't remember them. I don't but remember him at all. Just that, just the dope part about it is this is the original black and white promo shot. He was on a record, a major label called A and M. Right. This is the original promo shot, autographed by him, sent out to retailers. No. And um, that's cool. I found it on the wall. I actually, I hung it up when I was decorating the store. And I guess when I took the posters down to move to my new location, well, somehow right. I forgot that one and I found it. It's got cobwebs on it. And I really, I'm probably going to take a picture of it and see if I can find him on Instagram and just see if he responds. That was always the fun shit about the, doing, doing them displays and shit around the top of the store. That shit was fun. Yes. Yeah. That's the yeah. one. And the funny thing, that's the one element of the new era that I miss because the labels will have contests right. for, for right. stores and if you had the best display you could win something. I remember you, you you gave me my first job in visual merchandise. That's where it all started. I did not I couldn't remember where it started, but you just re reminded me like damn. That's why I like store displays and why I'm a visual manager or have done this shit throughout all of these years. That was my first job doing this shit and fell in love with it ever since. Yeah, man, I, I missed that. One time for my girl, Megan, wherever you are, Megan was... One Megan of the, was the truth. She man, was the truth Megan, with it. Yes. She was one of yeah. the best I've ever seen when it comes to visual merchandise. Yeah, and, yeah. And she won plenty of money from plenty of labels for her work as a visual merchandiser. That's what's up. So, but yeah, man, that's my little, that's the little hip-hop tip. But I found a, a knife, a, a, I don't know if my grandmother used to threaten my grand grandfather with it or what, but I found <laughs> this old knife and it actually looked like a knife that an actual, and I, I hope I'm not being impolitically correct. It, it seems like a knife that you would find on an old reservation. Like it's hand, oh. the, 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 it's hand carved. Matter of fact, next episode, I'm going to hold it up. I mean, it might be an artifact, fam. Like for real, for real. My like archaeologically, it might be something you might not want to throw away. Just like go and ask somebody about it. It might have a history. My wife started cleaning it yesterday, and she took mm -hmm. a lime, and she took something that looked like coca, 
Right. <laughs> and baking soda. <laughs> it, it looked, it, but it didn't come out of a baking soda box. Right, right. It came out of a plastic bag. And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> but it was in our pantry. But right. she poured it on the line and clean, started cleaning this knife with it. Right. Cleaning right. all the rust and grime off. And, and um, it's not there yet, but it's a hundred times better. But she's like, she's she's definitely going to get it right. You know me. I want what's to, up. I'm trying to figure out where to put it on the set. But yeah, man. One time for my grandmother and grandfather, man. Um, It's going to be a sad day that I have to actually have the home that my mother was raised in, the home that my grandfather built with his hands, a convenience, wow. a, a convenience store that served the community for the entire 60s, 70s, and 80s. But... I gotta have it. That's tomorrow. crazy. Gotta That's crazy, man. Yep. All right, man. Let's get into it. But you know what? I also feel good knowing that you know I, I still own the land. It's not like right. I gotta do anything with the land. It's just the city don't want that piece of piece of building. Don't want that building on the property anymore. Well, if if it's blight, there's stuff that you can do to fix it though. But we can talk about that off camera. I'm knocking it down. I already paid. Oh damn. Okay. Well, you know, no idea is gonna be mine and already paid. I'm just waiting for the people to come <laughs> knock it down. All right, cool. Matter of fact, gas face to all the people who've been abandoning their cats on this property. Because now these cats are not gonna have a home. <laughs> like six cats there. I don't know where these cats came from. All right, man, let's get into it, man. We got some new music, <laughs> some new videos to talk about. And you know, that's what we do right here on the country rap report. Let you know what's going on. On these YouTube streets. All right, man. First up, first up, first up, first up. Who's first? Who we got first? Self proclaimed. And I'm assuming it's self proclaimed. Mm -hmm. Black redneck. Oh, that dude. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Joe Patrick. Joel Patrick. Is it Joel? Well, I say Joel. Okay, well. You know how I am with names, though, so ignore me. Just, just call him JP. Joe, you know it's cool. We call You call him Brad Knox. I call him Brad. It don't matter. He right, know, right. He know who he is, and all the people who don't know will know because I'll drop the link in there. So, Joel, Joel, Patrick, either or, JP, Mr. Patrick, drop the <laughs> video. And the name of that video <clears throat> is He Loves You. All right? Joe Patrick is what I've seen on his Instagram and his YouTube page is the self-proclaimed black redneck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I watch this video, the first thing I realize is, yes, he got on the Liberty overalls. Um, he looked like he's in front of the Ford Ranger. Um, all right, so look, let me give my personal opinion about this video. No, no. Okay. Start with giving, first of all, I like the video. The video says what it needs to say about this song. Okay? Okay. It says exactly what I think it needs to say about this song. Okay, okay. I said that two times, didn't I? You did. <laughs> okay, so... But we got it. We got it, though. The video okay. done what it was supposed to do, according to you. I... I, Are you dancing around words over there? I don't like the hook. The hook is very um, archaic. Oh. Very archaic, mediocre, like real basic. Like it doesn't even belong in this song. Okay, well, cool. Cause I was thinking God was going to strike me down. For, cause the hook oh, is no, 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 no. The hook is just him recycling some um, dated, it ain't, well, it's free now because it's been out over 75 years. So it's, he's just, I, I didn't like it. It probably could have not been in the song. He probably could have used other words because, I mean, it ain't like he's not the talented or, or talented enough to be able to bring some other words in there. He can rap. He's got a good voice singing too. So I don't, I don't understand why he just recycled this quote. I, it ain't even a nursery rhyme. It's just, something that has been out there forever and now it is just common use anybody can use it for free so i guess he assumed that he was just going to use it and throw it in his song i didn't think it deserved this place in this song 
probably could have used it in another place, maybe in the video, some sort of way. But I, I didn't, I didn't like it because of that. That was the only reason. It was the only negative that I got about the song is because he recycled it. I wasn't even mad at the fact that he recycled it. I was mad at the way it was delivered. Jesus loves me. <laughs> and at the at the same tempo that we learn it. Yes, I like did in like Bible it. school. Like it's it's no fam, no fam. Come on, Joel. Come on, bro. You and, can do better than that. And the funny thing, when he starts spitting, I wasn't mad. And when even when he done the bridge after he spit, he loves you, right. love you but that was dope. At not me doing it, but right, right, right. how he done it. So I'm like, why would you put? I ain't even mad that the hook was simple. I wish he would have sung it the way he sounds. Right. I I can't even give this. I don't know. I can't say that the hook was simple. We we all know this this harmony. Like we anybody that grew up in the church, especially went to Sunday school or any type of uh, choir practice, you know this song. It's it's entrenched. The, he should not have put it in this song. I understand the message. I get it. I I just wasn't feeling it. wasn't feeling it, man. The message was awesome. Yeah, great message. The message is what we need today. Like we're all equal. God sees no color. This song is borderline. A matter of fact, some people can call it gospel. Some people might call it country rap uh, because he calls himself the black redneck. I threw it in the country rap genre, but I can see it right. for either way. And I think he's a very, very talented artist who I hope doesn't sway away from rapping because he lyrically he has a flow. Yeah, he's got a good voice. Yes, it's, he's made for it. Um, it doesn't seem like he puts out a lot of material but he should record more and build a broader and bigger fan base um, using his talent. This would, song would be a hit with the video if he only changed that one portion of the hook. And I know Agreed. he had it for nostalgic reasons for it being recognized, but I get all that. It's just he could have made it spicy. Right. So, now, if he was, I, I can see if he was dumbing it down to like that age group, like the, the, the pre teens, little kid age group, mm -hmm. just trying to make a kid song. Then yeah, like this song fit, it kind of felt kid boppish for me, you know. And I ain't want to put him in that category, but it, it gives me that that type of feel or, or that type of vibe. And I, it, he's better than that. I think I know he can do better than this. Levels better than this. But this is the first video I've seen of him this year, so this might be, you know, I, I don't know. This is the first one that you've given me this year, so I don't know. He might have some other stuff out there that I've missed. But I've, uh, I'm anxious to see what else he got coming for 2021. Yeah, me too. I, when I was looking on his page, I think it might have been another video that came out earlier this year, if not late last year. But this was the okay. only one that I've seen. <clears throat> and I think this one's been out well over a month, um, maybe two months. But because we haven't talked about him, I was like, I want to talk about him. And again, okay. um, what do you think about the video? Because I didn't hear you really comment on the video. I didn't think the video was bad. I think some of it was more camcorder-ish or low-quality camera-ish, but I, it, it was still like candid scenes and showing people just out and about doing life stuff. Like that kind of camera is okay for that. I didn't, I wouldn't give this an official video feel. I just felt like it was a good vibe, a good presentation, just to keep people appetite wet, just to show that, okay, I'm still doing music. All right, man. Next up, Mr. Appalachian Don featuring Shel Selby Todd or Selby Todd featuring Appalachian Don. Actually, when it comes on, it, it looks as if it's Appalachian Don featuring Selby Todd, but it's right. on YouTube as Selby Todd featuring Appalachian Don, but it's also on Appalachian Don's page. So I don't know. Maybe it's a co-op. So for the sake of, we're going to call it Appalachian Don. Okay. Okay, first of all, man, again, this is another song. In country rap, y'all are really doing y'all thing when it comes to tying your visuals to your song. There are some video directors out here who are coming with some real live dope ass stories. <clears throat> They're listening to y'all music first, creating the storyboard, then coming back to the table. And I like right. it. Um, right. Bro, and I, I, I want to hear more from Appalachian Don. Like, he's got some soul to me. Okay. To well, me, Hopefully he has improved because this is the older stuff that used to be Appalachian Don was not great. 
I'm not even gonna lie. It was like cringe worthy. But this is not. I'm, 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 I don't want to. I want to correct that before we go further in the video. This is a great representation of him and his set and his skill set. Did you like this record? I love this record. I played this record multiple times. You know, I hate the little banjo shit and the country shit, but there's. It was. I think the production won me over on this one more so than the lyrics. I'm, I'm, I probably, I'm, truth be told, I probably tuned out Appalachia Dawn after the first time I heard it. After that, I was listening to guitar play. I was listening to the mixing and the mastering. Like there's some, there's some, some auto tune in there. And also they, he was playing with some vocals. Like I was more so on the production side and trying to dissect it. And on the production side, this is some top level shit. Like this is grade A. Like somebody went in there and dissected every single four pattern and either tuned some knobs up or EQ'd it the right way because it's a lot of instrumentation in here but it, this is a great job production wise like I, I was impressed because I did it did not come on that way when it came on I was a little sus and then at round second hook I was like okay this is getting better and then by the time the bridge hit I'm like all right and then once all the other guitars and shit started kicking in I'm like, okay somebody know what they're doing over there but you know I I would probably recommend maybe you sometimes you lose people if you don't capture them immediately. Uh, and with this being a five minute video, you're going to have to do something completely different to capture them because by the end of the song, you want to play the song over again because of the instrumentation. That's how I felt about it. So I would probably do something midway or earlier in the song that would show people the talent is there. Just wait for it. Uh, but I, I mean, I, I waited for it just because when I heard the hook and the instrumentation, I was, I was sold. If Appalachian Dunn was a new artist, would this record make you want to hear more? If Appalachian Dunn, well, as a rapper, no, because I tuned him out. I, the, the Selby Todd, the, the singer and guy playing the, the, uh, is that a banjo? I don't know what that is. The, the guy playing the guitar is the one that reeled me in. I've heard Appalachian Don before, but this was me hearing this one. It was like, okay, he's improved, but I'm still more interested in the production than I am listening to his lyrics. But again, this is levels above what he used to be. So I'm very impressed of where he's come up to 2021. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I've never heard any of his music. It, it's making me want to definitely do research and go to okay. or from him. Um, and a lot of these artists, man, I, I really be wanting to know where they're actually from. Um, this video actually was shot by my guy, Kirk Films, who was based mm -hmm. out of Georgia. So, you know, I, I kind of wonder where he's from. But one time for him made me want to hear more from him. I look forward to hearing what he has to offer. Okay. In 2021. The video was dope as shit, though. Like, it had the right color palette or the right warmth to it. Like the scenes were dope. Like the 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 drone footage was dope. Like there was nothing negative to say about the video. Uh, there really not anything negative to say about the song. Great job from from both of the guys. Uh, but I, again, the production on this kind of sold this. If somebody played this and they were trying to get some mixing and mastering work, and they played this song, they would get the job. Because this is this probably wasn't an easy song to mix and master with all the instrumentation that was in it, but this is a great great effort. I love it, and video too. And and actually, I don't know if him and Selby Todd are working on a project together, but they also mm -hmm. have another record um, that I'll probably go back and get. But you know, I'll just tell people about it. They have another record called On the Back Road, um, mm -hmm. which is just as dope to me. So um, okay, I don't know if they're working on a project together, but they definitely have some chemistry they definitely have some chemistry and if this is a good um representation of Appalachian Don especially so you say you've heard other music yes I'm with it man and I I, I think Appalachian Don may be from from Atlanta or Georgia as I stroll through his Instagram I see he's in Marietta um quite a bit like I said he's Kirk film Kirk film shot the actual visual and um I don't know man maybe he's from Georgia Cool. He's a big guy. He's got a little swag. I'm, I'm definitely rocking with him, though. I'm definitely rocking with him. Look forward to hearing more from him.
All right. That's what's up. All right, man. So now on, and I'm gonna let you start off by this. I'm gonna let you start this one off. Who is the next? Next I don't up, remember. we have some cats from your hometown. Oh, we're talking about Mr. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Joe Sticks, Mr. City Sticks, collectively known as Dust Sticks. Man. And the name of this joint is No Cap. Hey, hey, bro, sin's voice. I don't, it's like butter fam. Like, I, 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 I ain't, I don't say that lightly, but that dude can probably sing the ABCs and it'll little track, you know, all kinds of people to it. Like, this dude got, got a very unique voice. Damn what genre he's in. Like, once he touched the mic, people definitely pay attention. Um, I, <sighs> there ain't anything negative to say. I, the, well, I guess it probably would be negative. Hearing no cap 10,000 times uh, kind of like irritate the fuck out of me. But at the same time, when I hear, hey, I'm singing along, you know, so it would be a perfect crowd song or perfect concert record to do. Maybe open your show with it just to get the crowd engaged. But, you know, I, I, the A caught me first time he heard it. And then when he did it again, first time I heard it, then when he did it again, it was like, okay. And then third time I'm singing along, like, okay, okay. This is what it's music is supposed to do. It's, it's about programming. Um, but no cap, no cap. Like, bro, I, I'm, I was tempted to mute it, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't because, you know, once I heard the rest of the record, it's still a good representation of who they are. I, I wasn't sold on it being country rap. This is definitely a rap term. Um, I don't know how country rap going to feel about it, but I think it's a good representation of the sticks and who they are. And by blending, you know, core hip hop and country music and putting it all together, this is definitely who they are about. So I, I think it was a good record, great video, uh, and I'm anxious to hear more. Okay, so look, thank you for taking the, catching the alley oop. Um, the negative for you was the negative for me. No cap, ten thousand two hundred and sixty times. I, I didn't want to say that, so I <laughs> not knowing that you would say that, and you said it. But the the funny part is, um, little music lesson for you guys out there, and maybe you, everyone doesn't have to follow it, but. Just in creating a hook, and I learned this from being in the studio with the Yin Yang Twins. If you can have three-part hooks, it's almost impossible to lose. And what I mean by three-part look hooks, three different portions of your hook that if a person doesn't, first of all, a hook is just that to hook you in. Right. But if right. you can have three portions of it, and say if they miss this part, but they get this part. Or they right. get this part, miss this part. But you give them three representations of catching it, you win. Okay, so this record follows that formula. Now, there are people who are who, the real people who listen, listen. They'll get the part, boss, about something, boss, hog, something, something on the hood, boss, hog, winning mind. The people who really listen will repeat that. Right. But that's going to be right. hard to repeat. Okay? Right. You get the people like me and you who remember, hey. Right, right. <laughs> that's part two of the hook. Right, right, right. The first part is that long part. The second part is, hey. And if you don't get that, guess what you're going to get? Oh, you're going to get the no cap. No cap. No cap. <laughs> you catching no cap. that motherfucker. Right. So... <laughs> Even though that part might annoy me and you, what got me and you was, hey. Right, right. There right. are people right now watching this video saying, no cap, no cap. Right, There are right. people watching this video that's saying that intricate shit that Sin says. As a matter of fact, for a lot of, okay. And I'm going to bring up another artist. Adam Calhoun. Okay. okay. There are people who might like Adam Calhoun lyrically, but hate his hooks. I would be one of them. Okay. I would be one. Those would be the people who don't get that first part of Sin's hook. 
Okay. Oh, that would be me. Like, for they sure. They feel like his hooks are too wordy. Right. Right, They're not right, in a right, concert. Right. You're not going to say that. You're not going to be right. in the club. Bat, 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 It makes you think of a verse. Right. Finn and Joe are so masterful in doing this so long, and a lot of you artists never will reach that plateau. This is what hit records are made of. True. And if you True. think back, and I'm again, I'm using Yin Yang Twins. You remember the wait, the whisper record? I do. What were they? Saying? I don't know what the fuck he was saying. Now. Right, right. Now, some you don't know know what they said, right? Right. But some people remember. Wait till you see my. Yeah, and, and the wait, yo, wait, Oh, yo, if you didn't get that, you remember. Yeah. Yeah. We. yeah. How many parts? <laughs> Three parts. Now. Y'all don't believe me? <laughs> Tell me I'm lying. Go back and listen to Wait. There was three parts. There was a part that was long that people were like, what the fuck are they saying? Then there was right. some people that said, wait till you see my. Wait till you see my. And then other part just heard, win, 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 win. Hey. Hey. No cap. Wait till you see my. Bro, three parts. Hook them in. Don't you let them off the hook with no long ass hippity hoppity hook. Right. And, a lot, and I hate to be honest, East Coast artists might tend to be better lyrically. That's why East Coast artists aren't as successful at radio than Southern artists. Because their, hook, their hooks their hook. are too intricate. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's a 1,000% true. 1,000% true. That's why East Coast artists be like, man, we got to dumb it down. Yes, but a hook is just that. Hook you in. If you look at some of Jay Z's biggest, some of the biggest East Coast records that are successful at radio, either they had a dumbed down hook or a sample hook. That's true. It's a hard not like for us. It's a yeah. hard not like for us. That was a sample. Or we go lights, camera, action. I'm sorry, Mid Jackson. How simple is that? East hmm. Coast. So, I'm just saying, a lot of you artists, if you want to go far, learn how to properly write a hook. Or they could just, like, bring in sin and let you know that that's a wrap. I promise you, if sin and Joe are put in front of enough people, this record will be sung across the world. Oh, I'm not disputing that. This is definitely a hit because of the catchiness. Yeah. Like I, I can't, I, and I can't. Well, it is called dumbing it down in the genre, but I, I wouldn't call it that. This is a good marketing ploy because you're gonna, you're gonna catch at least two of them that you just mentioned. I got the A, you know. But if you catch the no cap, the kids are gonna catch no cap first because it's repetitive, and it's at the same, it's at this same monotone uh, level. So they're gonna catch that one first. And then when they catch that one, they'll come back for the eight, uh, and then learn the whole hook. So now it's now it's over with. But I I, I th in the days of uh, ringtones, this shit probably would have sold millions in a day. Hey man, how did it make you feel hearing him say Bill County and speak of Macon? Oh, for sure, Joe was Joe was he's always repping Macon. He's never turned away from that. I still rep Griffin though, so you know I'm I'm here now because my wife won't let me leave. But I I I'm dealing with making as making deals with me. But I, it's it's good to hear somebody rep this city for sure because it's a lot of negative shit here. Now it's funny we haven't even spoke on the video. We just talked about the song. What do you feel about the video? The video. Hold on, the video video's dope. I like the I I was hoping to see more graffiti and shit because I saw them doing the behind the scenes and all of that. But that was that was just it because I I'm me being a hip hop head and you know staying true to the elements I wanted to see more of that shit. Uh, but the rap outs were fine, the scenes were fine. It looked like they're in an old factory, like all of that. Everything about the video was dope. I not nothing negative to say about the video. Now, wherever they found these um the setting is really really mm -hmm. dope, and I I actually love the fact because I know they're probably residing in Colorado now, but. If you, if I didn't know they were residing in Colorado, I would have thought this was straight Georgia. They're in Georgia. Right. Um, my only problem with the video is 
there are too many scenes where I feel like the camera is facing up. Like maybe they're too high for the person filming it. Maybe the person didn't have a boom stick or, or something like that. Because there are a lot of scenes where it's like they shot up. And um, it wasn't. That is true. That's true. So for me, I wanted to see, like, see, what, is, what are you standing on, seeing? Or what's I mean, is that, a, is that a media thing that you don't like the up? Because you know this kind of a negative thing to shoot up somebody's nose. You should be coming straight at them or down. But, like, is that a, that a media, the reason you don't like it shooting up? I just wanted to see what the hell was going on underneath them. Okay. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the same way, but I'm like that with artists and snapshots and definitely with, with vloggers. I don't like shooting up, but I, I get it. I, I don't know. I don't know. If, maybe the dude was short. I don't, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. I can't tell. I, but for as a whole, it didn't take away from the video from because it wasn't a large amount of shots like that. But you right. know, in us being in giving criticism, we got to give the good and the bad of what we feel. So if True I had to say something negative, that would be my only negative in the video aspect that, that when there's like they're shooting up. And as a song, the no cap part, um, to me, that no cap part made me feel less country rap, like you said. Oh, for sure. For sure. There's definitely a rap term. I'm, maybe I would have liked to have seen more sticks merchandise on them. I, I, I guess that probably would be one little negative, but, you know, it's a good record. That's a good record, good record, good video. I don't see nothing. This is the sticks. If this is your first introduction to them, you would be a fan after this. Two things I got to say. Mm -hmm. Like you said, one is merch. Two is Adam Calhoun is really serious about Hustle Hard, the label. Mm -hmm. I need to start seeing that logo like Mako do at the beginning of their video. Oh, for sure. I, yeah, need, I don't know what that looks I need like. Adam to start branding. I've never seen it on any broadneck stuff. Um, the sticks done a two week build up of this video. I haven't seen it there. I don't even have to see Adam in the video. I just need people to know that they're part of the fam. If he, bro, it's it's we're in June and we're not seeing this. Like, right. it makes no sense that. It's June and I'm still stumbling on the name of the record label because I'm not sure if it's hustle hard or hard hustle or whatever the case may be. Let me click on some stuff, see if I can find. See if no cap is no cap available yet. I'll go download it if it is. Let's see. Cause they would that would determine if it dropped it on their label or his. You keep talking while I'm researching them. So, you know, <laughs> that being said, man, um, again, like you said, if they, if you're not a fan of the sticks, this video will help you become a fan. Um, if you're a true country rap fan, maybe you'll get mad because of the no cap. But I don't, I think no cap is so universal that country rap fans probably use it too in text dialogue or you capping, you capping. You know, everyone knows what capping means. Yep. And if you don't, then you will. So, again, I'm not mad at this record at all. I'm here to say. So, oh, this still a Sticks record, fam. This ain't even on Adam's record. Okay. So maybe, on his label. Maybe he hasn't properly. Is it on spot? Is it streaming everywhere? Yeah, it's, it's on Spotify. So, it should be streaming everywhere else. I'm getting ready to download it, though. Put it in my collection. I'll make sure I add it to the Country Rap Tune. Um, For sure. Video and on Spotify. Also, last thing, um, and I'm here for it. Tell me I'm lying. The sticks. Boy, we finna go on the group shit again? How you know what I'm finna say? Because I, I, when you were, when I watched this, I was like, okay, other than the lax, ain't, no many, ain't that many groups out there, but the sticks could fuck with the lax right now. The sticks, like, they could give them a run for their money. The sticks? Is the best group, non-collab group. I don't count collab groups. Okay. I cannot. I don't count collab groups. That shit don't count. Bridging your pant. I mean, I get it. I'm with. I'm with collab group albums, but I'm talking groups. Groups. Right. Eat with who you starve with. Groups. The sticks are the best group in country rap. 
if you're out there, matter of fact, some of you country rap artists who are on the come <laughs> up, y'all need to goddamn get together now and form groups. Yeah, I agree, because there's not a lot of them out there. There's a demand for it. In, in, in music, in, in, in hip hop, country rap, whatever genre of, of, of hip hop you're taking, we need more groups. Joe, I've been not here about no goddamn solo album no time soon. Cindy, <laughs> I've been not here about no goddamn solo album soon. No. Y'all are a group. Y'all have a formula that we love together. The nappy roots are the nappy roots. Right now, Sticks, Lax, Moonshine Bandits, Nappy and Roots, then, okay. Real Billies. That's it. I'll I mean, there's other groups. There's other groups for this. I mean, I think Kentucky Music Mafia is a group, and then Kentucky, Kentucky Music Mafia, um, Jesse Howard and New Breed. Right, right. There's matter, a couple matter more. Matter of fact, that's a show. That's a show. Okay. Oh, okay. what? Do, listening to groups? Yeah, like we did the female, the ladies. I mean, bro, they, the, the list ain't been so long. That's the problem. The like, there are. We came up with ten for the ladies. We will get ten for the for the groups in general. We need a ladies group. So are we not putting the groups in the top 10 now? Because we got to take the sticks out? No, no, no. We're going to put groups in the top 10. But okay, we're okay. going to do a groups of country rap show. Okay, fool. Okay, that'll work. I will work. start work. building it tonight. It might, it's okay. not going to be tomorrow. But I will start researching and building it tonight. And there won't be, it won't be any Adam Calhoun and Struggle Dennis. It won't be right. any artist that... Or standalone artists that have a huge fan base alone. We it won't be Racket County. No, he's not. So, but it might. I'm mad be, about that. It might be Bread. Right. It might be Bread Win Deville and Juice Daily. People that have consistently recorded together. Like we're gonna we're gonna do the Bread Win Deville and Juice. Okay, well they're not a group group though. Unless they, we, yeah, we got to put together the criteria. They are a group group. They are. They have a project coming out together. They've done okay, solo okay. stuff, but I'm not sure if either one of them have a complete body of work solo. And I think they have three or four pieces of work as individual artists. So I mean, as as a group. So I don't know. We're gonna do the research though. The groups of country rap. Got all right. Say. All right. That's fine. Okay. All right, man. The, that was all for this build up, ladies, especially you gentlemen. Let me make sure the door closed. From, I catch a shoe from around the corner. Wait, 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 wait. I what you say? They've been talking <laughs> about this all over social media. A lot of you yeah, fellas yeah. have been waiting. A lot of you ladies have been hating. But the day is upon us. Make our music hits us yes, yet again with another knockout blow. Miss Savannah Dexter is back. She's working on a brand new album and she's hitting us with what I think is the first single, maybe the second single. I'm not sure if that back row record was on the first album, but she has a brand new record and it's called Country Girl. Okay? Savannah Dexter is sun's out, legs out, that was me putting it nicely. Savannah <laughs> Dexter. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Let's talk about the song first. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. For weeks. You want me to go first or you want to go first? You can go first. Okay. The song wasn't the greatest. It's not a, a great representation of who Savannah Dexter is as an artist. Um, if this was the first time that I ever heard Savannah Dexter in 2021, I would be like, man, what is this? You know, this ain't, it's, this is just me. It is what it is. And it, it, this is me coming at it from a hip hop perspective. Okay, now let me jump over in the car and ride up the country rap lane. This song for country rap, it's, it's, it's a good feel good song, a good ass shaking Let's go get drunk and go dance song. But it's not, it's still not her level of talent. Um, I feel like this record was probably dumbed down for her. Um, 
No, I think, I know, let me take that back. I think this record was probably dumbed down for the genre. Um, for the men that want to see more ladies that look like her doing music or just look like her, period. Uh, I wasn't all that, I, I didn't like the hook, even though there were some puns in there. Um, I did not like the beat. Or maybe if it was, you know, back in the booty shake days, I might have liked it. But, you know, not in 2021. Um, but for country rap, I think it's appropriate. You know, this, she has a place and she's fucking paving her own lane. Um, you can't dispute that. So just, just for what it is musically, I respect it. I just don't think it is the best Savannah Dexter has ever offered to country rap. This, so I, I need to talk about the song or do I just talk about the song video? first and then you can jump into the video and then I can come back with the video. Cause okay. you said you want to talk about the song first. I agree with everything you said. I think, um, okay, let's say this. this song is for the club. Yes. But, 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 good, but good analogy, good analogy. This song is for the club and for the ladies who, um, this is sing along. This is ladies feel good. Shit, stand up and rep your shit. Tell them what you're working with. You got your beer in your hand. Tell these fellas what you about. This is that record. But mm -hmm. this, is a, this isn't a crowd participation record. And right. what I mean by that is, this ain't the song that I see ladies running to the floor for. That's if the ladies in country clubs do that. This ain't the record that they're going to go dance to. But this is the record they will stand with their ladies and sing to in a man's face. There are gonna be men, you know, they might turn around and put their ass on the wood. It's that type of song. This ain't right. a cool girl let's do our shit type of song. But right. this is a this is kind of a liberating song for the ladies to stand up and say, this is what I'm about. Um lyrically, it didn't move cool. Savannah, it didn't move Savannah forward. But it's no, okay. sir. But, but no, every sir. every song isn't meant for that. So I'm not I'm not mad at, at Savannah, Mako, wherever this came from from a written standpoint. I'm not mad at it. It didn't break any boundaries, but it did break some boundaries when it comes to ladies of country rap. Yeah, absolutely. So Kick even the door though, down. It, even though even though somebody might feel like she dumbed it down, she might have dumbed it down for what we're used to for Savannah. But she is, she hit it out of the park when it comes to the ladies. She didn't overwrap the shit. She didn't make you feel like hibbity hobbity hibbity. She made it to the point where you can listen to shit three times and damn near remember it. So for that aspect, when you say the words dumbing it down, dumbing it down, you only dumb it down for people to remember. Think about it. When I proposed to my wife, if you ask me what I said, I don't remember all that mumbo jumbo shit I said. Oh, I do, you might I, want to edit that shit in the video. No, no, no. Well, come I, on. No, I meant, <laughs> I meant it. No, I meant everything I said. But I right. don't remember every word for word, but I do remember asking, will you marry me? And her saying yes. So if my wedding proposal was a song that I dumbed down, I would have just said, will you marry me? Oh, please, will you marry me? All the stuff I said going into it was like just a long stuff that we don't remember. We just remember the hook. So are you going to remember, jumping over to the other side now, after watching this, would you remember the song or are you remembering the video? Okay, so do you... <laughs> There's only one thing, because I watch so many sexually charged videos in the hip hop. When right. it comes to country rap and ladies, yes, I will remember this. Okay. But I will remember this record when it comes to ladies. Period. But well again, okay, well well uh, I mean that aside, let's just let's just stick to the country rap part. Like this does does the song make you remember the video or does the video make you pay attention to the song? They're equal. 
I don't think the song does the video justice. Because you're going to remember the video. Like, you're going to remember the video like this is the first time you ever watched a poem. Like, you, especially for, for somebody that's watching Savannah Dexter for the first time, is their representation for the video. I've already said it, what, it, what I felt about the song. If you looked at this for the first, if you had this shit on mute and you were watching this, you're now a fan of Savannah Dexter. Just for the appearance and the, uh, the sex appeal and how she's carrying herself, like re regardless of what she's sounding like. Now, if you want to cut it on and see what she sounds like, that's not a great representation of what Savannah Dexter's level of talent is, FYI. Um, but it's a okay representation for what she's trying to do right now, which is, hey, I can do this too. Like it's just because if no one else is doing it, so hey, let me try. I'm right. okay with it. My question is, first of all, two things. Well, I'm gonna go with mm -hmm. the first one because I don't want to forget it. Okay, you said, will I remember? Will this song? Will the video make me remember the song, or will the song make me remember? Maybe what? What? Yes, yes. All right, and I have a rebut for you on that because I get it. If I okay. watch this video, I'm gonna remember this song. Okay, but say you're in the club. And uh -huh. you've never seen the video and the song comes on. Do you remember? Say I'm in the club and I've never watched the video and the, and song, the song comes on. I would probably wonder like who is that or what is that? Because it doesn't sound like anything else that is in country rap right now. So it, I would definitely, it's a standout song for sure. Um, damn it, I just... Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. Well, then that's not fair to what you just said. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be unbiased and think as a fan, uh, and not think as somebody that's trying to usher in country rap as a legitimate genre. If somebody played this over in hip hop, and it was like, oh, check this out, you know, see if you like it, and most hip hop heads gonna be like, man, what the fuck is this, you know? But it ain't for them. This for the country rap folks. And for country rap, it's a damn good song. It might be, I ain't gonna say top 20 of the year, but so far it's a, it's a top song for the year because of the subject matter. Oh, will we be doing a song, of, a top 10 song of the year for country hey, rap? Hey, we, we can do all of that. We can do countdowns, all of that shit. I might even dust the mic off and do my own little mad skills and just, you know, spit about all the shit that went on in rap and country rap this year. Never know. Never Maybe know. we should give that idea to Shelby K or something. <laughs> no, because that's a, that's a dope idea for somebody. Well, I don't want somebody to be biased, though. I want, I'm want i going to be unbiased, so, or at least uh, give my bias. A, a review is just what happened. It's not... But anyway, we, let's not get off her. So, okay, let's, I got you. let's go back to... Okay, so... If someone asked you, name one thing you remember most about this video. Oh, it? the hold on. Let me make sure the door closed before I get hit with something. Uh, the ties. Yeah. The ties? Them ties. Them ties. Dang. My aunt, did you turn on your mic when you said that? <laughs> they talk too loud, bro. Oh, okay. You know I don't know what's going on. Bro, my, oh. my wife would come down them stairs faster than Bruce Lee, bro. And it was, what you say? Wow. Who the hell you talking about? <laughs> Look, you know, all right, fellas. <laughs> you know these shows about educating somehow, some way. And there are some of you guys and ladies. And this is goes with my southern thing. There are some people wondering. Y'all think she says, she's like, she, basically she knows the way around the bedroom and she got that good cooking, right? And right. y'all probably think she got that man eating mac and cheese. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he eating mac and cheese, all right. <laughs> For everyone under a certain age, and Gator, I know good goddamn well this is you. <laughs> For everyone who is under a certain age, all my ladies out there, and all my fellows who want to use the words mac and cheese. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to explain mac and cheese one time. One time, just give it to him one time. Cause I had to tell my son. My son was like, "Dad, why people be talking about that mac and cheese?" Okay, mac and cheese. <laughs> I want everyone right now to close your eyes and take a walk with me. Close your eyes. 
You got some mac and cheese you just made, whether it's homemade or out of the box, it don't even goddamn matter. That's true. I want you to take your big wood spoon. It can be metal, but wood is metal. <laughs> wood is metal. <laughs> Put your spoon in your mac and cheese and stir. Yeah. And it goes. <laughs> don't make the noise. Don't do the <laughs> That sound, <laughs> that mac and cheese, is what you dream to acquire. If you're a man or a woman. If a woman, right. if you're a woman, you want that mac and cheese. And if you're a man, you want that mac and cheese. <laughs> so Valedictia <laughs> just got y'all. She crushed the game with the mac and cheese, fellas. Yeah, that was a good metaphor. Yeah, that was no. great. That was... No, I've never even seen anyone in hip hop use it. Savannah is letting you fellas know she got that mac and cheese, and that's a very unique quality. That, that's a um. Oh, we had we had a pre-show conversation. Like, it, oh, is she heading down the WAP lane? You know what? Is that what we that what we going with Savannah Dexter? I don't know about that, but let me say this: we didn't say this pre-show, but in talking, this is what I felt. This record here, this is just my personal opinion uh -huh. and a strategic thing. This record here lets any record label know that Mako is ready to play. We're ready to play ball and we'll go wherever you want us to go with this girl. Okay. We're, we're ready to go wherever you want us to go with this girl. We're ready to go. See, that will be playing to the labels and them used to seeing other females in the genre being depicted a certain way. Um, so if, if, hey, this might be like, hey, we can do mainstream shit too, you know, and still be country rap. We look mainstream. We can give you mainstream visual with a twist of country because this was mainstream visuals with a twist of country. Right. Or, or right. Country with a twist of mainstream, whatever you want to call it, however you want to play it. Everything to me about this video says we ready to fucking play. Cut us a goddamn check. Cut us a check. I'm cool it. with that. I'm cool with that. Mulatto, we rock, we got it. City girls, we got it. They winning, we winning. We're not, we no, we we ain't trying to look. We're not trying to look like we're not coming out with no overalls. We're not coming out with no cowboy boots and country. No, we want that big dog check. That's what this record says to me, and I'm not mad at that. Country rap, the core country rap fans might be mad at that, but you know what? I I call it bullshit if y'all say y'all don't want to get rich doing this shit. They can't. They, I mean, you can't be mad at this now. Like there's, if you're gonna be mad at this, you got to be mad at Nicki Minaj and um, Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion and the City Girls. Like there's the sexism over there is over the fucking top. Like this, Savannah's the only person over here doing it. Like, are you mad because she has this sexy appeal? Is that madness or is that shade? Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I'm, I'm. You gotta respect it when. If somebody is confident enough to do this type of shit, whether it's that or or it could be big girl, like whatever that is, well, whoever is confident enough to show their body in front of the masses, respect that. However, that is displayed to the masses. Now, if she wants to do it on a consistent basis. First of all, let me let me take a step back. I still think she took a step back in the lyrics because this she can write her ass off. But if you want to check her with the lyrics. Don't let the damn booty shorts and the halter tops fool you and shit. Like, she would still try to body your ass. If you don't believe that, then we can go back a couple videos and you can hear her dissing. So it ain't, it ain't like she can't handle herself with the microphone. So, but this is, this is why I said this was dumbed down for a more visual display. And, let, hey, let's, okay, y'all think I'm being over the top and sexy. Bitches, I'm finna give you over the top and sexy. Fuck it. Let's go all in with it. Here you go. You know, so, and I, res I, I respect that. I just still think that this song is, and, I, and I'm being biased when I say this, because I've heard Low Down, and Gator knows what song that I'm talking about when I say Low Down. Low Down is a top 10 hit 
but he has yet to release it. Until he releases it, I'm still up there with the bar for her or where she needs to be set. Until then, this, this is just Savannah playing around just to whet some appetites for me. Yeah, when I listen to this beat, as I'm listening to it now, this beat is so far removed from what country rap is used to. I see why for weeks they were saying this record is going to change country rap forever. That's how they was building this record. It's going to change the game. It's a game changer. And I don't disagree. Uh, Mako definitely knocked it out of the park. Um, again, for my people who are only for Savannah's lyrics, then you might be pissed. I don't she will, <laughs> she will gain more fans than she loses off this record. Oh, one thousand percent. She will, and and she's going to gain even more just from the visuals. Yeah. Like and it, and those fans, those fans are the ones that will buy that calendar that I told you guys to create at the beginning of the year. But hey, we're mid year now. Now you got something to shoot for for 2022. Like, get that calendar together. They could have made calendar off of this entire video. Yes, yeah. Her, she got enough shit on her Instagram from when you showed me that she could have done a calendar shoot and that shit could be selling, like, by the masses today. Could we get in trouble if we made a calendar? Uh, for someone else, of someone else's imagery? Yes, you could. That's a, um, it's not your intellectual property. You will get sued. Even if we take it off Instagram? Man, you know, mm -mm. I'm just joking, man. I don't want nobody thinking I'm going to take their pictures and make a count. It's, yeah, I'm man, just you can get in huge trouble. Even if we gave it away free? Free? I don't think so. Not with free. What if we done a Ladies of Country Rap calendar free with every subscription to the channel? Uh-uh. So then we're, no, if that ain't free then. That's a, that's a, to your benefit through the auspice of being free. That'll get you sued. And they'll take whatever you got from the free. I'm just joking. I'm not going to do it anyway. I'm just playing around. Okay. Just well, <laughs> I look, we can't talk about business and helping people. Then we turn around and do some bullshit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Hey, it popped in your head, though. Like, hey, it's, it's, we could do a country rap report calendar. But we got to get consent from each one of these people, and and it has to be original shot, shot by our photographer. That'll be the only way we can do it. I only had that thought because of that mac and cheese. Oh Lord, not Maybe the mac. We and just cheese. do twelve months of bowls of mac and cheese. <laughs> Last thing I'm gonna say about this song, and just because, <laughs> just because Savannah Dexter brought it completely out of me in this song. Savannah Dexter says she got. She, she said, you bring that meat. <laughs> the little innuendos are all through the video, bro. All through the video. Like, okay, that was clever. That was cute. Okay, I see I'm you. Here, I'm here for the shit, dog. It's better say, you bring the meat. <laughs> there are guys right there like... <laughs> This me? Where you at? <laughs> for, for real, for real. Hey man, make hoes. Has Mako missed in 2021? Not with not a single single. Not once. Not once. God damn it. They not are at all. Like they this is the track record right now has to be there. I don't understand why there are we we've proven that there are covert. Uh, major labels funding other labels. We've already proved that in another podcast. I don't understand why this isn't done here with Mako. This is the one. If we you start, think so? If we start seeing announcements slowly trickle, they might wait the third quarter. If not, well, they need quarter, to do it. Um, I would probably say like August ish, or or it'll be a bigger splash if you announce it first quarter. Yes. If if there's a surprise Christmas album um, and some major production getting thrown around, then yeah, we probably... I mean, now's a good time, though. There's still money out there floating from first quarter budgets. Like, she can still get it, whatever. Or, or Mako can still get a deal. There's options. If, if we start seeing major features like Kid G and Lil Vert, we know what mm -hmm. it is. Uh, like maybe a, maybe a Nelly on a song or something like that? 
mulatto on this record. Mulatto's mulatto? from Atlanta. Mulatto's from Atlanta. She's a country girl. Remake. Mulatto on this record? Trina. She's a country girl. Remakes Florida. Trina ain't fine enough, man. Mulatto is, is a good one, though. This man said Trina ain't... Trina ain't fine enough, man. Miss, this ass too fat? Pull over this ass too fat? Mm-mm. 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 We talking about what we comparing fineness from like Trina to Cardi to Megan to who all of them? No, I'm really no. just comparing something that could possibly give this record crossover element. That crossover element put her in pocket to get that urban radio play. Even if they act like they don't want it, they ain't mad if they get it because the streams go up. Then it, I, it probably has to be somebody that's right now. Then Trina's not right now. Mulatto went and got Trina. Just for respect. I mean, Mulatto has been doing it. It's, you know, we know how long she's been doing it, but that was probably just for, for some respect level. So you think Trina's in Florida? Savannah's in Florida? You don't think that's a good look for Florida? It'd be a great look for Florida, but it wouldn't be a great look for the sake of the record. You're just doing it just for the shits and giggles. Like, how if about, you're going to do it. How about Sweetie? Sweetie would be dope. That's over the top. Sweetie would be, yeah. How about City Girls? They're from Florida. Either one of them went to work for City Girls. Either one. You ain't got to get both of them on it. Either one of them. <laughs> yes, yeah, so anything like that would work because they're right now. Like, if Trina had something new out, I, only, I don't watch TV. She's still on TV. If that's the case, then maybe. But I, I, yeah. just, I just don't think she would work right now. Trina's still on Love and She's still the main catalyst of Love and Hip Hop Miami whenever they bring it back. Yeah. Okay. And Trina, and Trina has a morning show, a, a, a morning show on FM radio. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. The That's TNT dope. morning show. Trick Daddy and Trina morning show. Trick Daddy and Trina. Morning show. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's, That's got to be play. very interesting. Oh, look, guess what I'm doing right now? What's I'm that? Mess- I'm messaging Gator. Uh, for... Hey, bro, you gotta get Trina. You gotta get Trina on the remix, bro. Well, I can give him Trina's manager's number if he needs it, because I've booked Trina several times. Her manager's pretty cool, too. He might not respond, but I'm I'm hitting him up regardless. But yeah, man. All right, man, that's it for this show. Did you really just text Gator? I'm about to. Should I not? In the show, you texting Gator. Should I not? Wait till the show's over, because if you reply, then we're going to have to talk about that shit some more in the video, and then now we've extended the video longer than we I should have. I don't think he'll reply while um while we're recording. No, I don't give it to him, because don't give it, because then he might even call you, and then he's like, what's up, Bubba? Nah, then, he that, no, wait. fam. No, fam. No, fam. I'll wait. Please do. Yeah, so. All right, man. Let's recap real quick. Started in time, man. It seemed like we started a long time ago, too. I almost forgot what we talked about at first. We started, <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's the effect that Savannah Dexter has on a man. You forgot what the <laughs> fuck you was talking about 20 minutes ago. No, we talked we talked about a lot of stuff. We yeah. did talk about a lot of stuff. All right, man. We're starting to our show off. Mr. Joel Patrick, the name of that joint was He Loves Me. Yes, Jesus loves me. You can sing that one because yes. it's it's free music. Love me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Joe, dope record. Ooh. Dope Ooh. verses. Dope message. You just lost me with that basic part at the front. That doesn't take away from me not liking the record. I just could have done without going back to Miss Hale's class, first grade. Right, right. And that's funny. My t- teacher name was Miss Hale. Is- Hale, as in down south? Well, she spelled it H-A-L-E, but Miss Hale, yes, Jesus. Oh, wow. Me. Okay, yeah. But still, still good record. Joe, the one thing, the only thing I suggest is give us more, man. It's 2021. Nobody's tripping off the pandemic anymore. We out here, no mask, B. Get in that studio and hit us with some joints. But don't you, don't you start out that goddamn singing. We need some more rapping because you got bars to be competitive in this thing. So don't sway away. From well, I think Joel, Joel might be trying to define who he is for 2021 because he was heavy on the Trump stuff 
Uh, and now I think he's leaning more towards the gospel side of things. Um, and this is a might be his first taste of it or might be his experimentation of it just to see what his fans would say. Well, Joel ain't finna get over here with Lecrae. No, so, fam. No. Joel need to stay over here being the black redneck and give off those positive messages that could potentially change the world. There is no need for Joel to go sing to the choir. Right, right. Stay where you're at. The people who could be more affected by your message, especially being the black redneck. I agree. That's a that's a good uh, way to put it. Ain't nobody asking your ass to turn around and sing to the choir, Joe. They doing a lot of singing back there. <laughs> we need you over here. Stay in country rap, big dog. All right, next up, man, we have Mr. Appalachian Dunn featuring Selby Todd. And the name of that joint was Old Cold. Uh, my feeling from that was this was a great representation of the old cold. Um, this is almost like what country rap is about. Yes. Yeah. Like it, it, it You're right. All the imaging there. And um, hey, man, Appalachian Don, if they do a new a reboot of Dukes of Hazard, Appalachian Don has a good leg up to play boss hall. <laughs> well, this record, of all the records we heard today, that record has the best mix and master on it. Okay. Next up was the sticks with no cap, no cap. No cap, no cap, a, 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 man. Again, <laughs> the sticks are the greatest. That's all I have to say. I think the lax gonna have something to say about that, but okay, I'm here for it. I like the lax. Sure. I do too. And those two, well, I, gentlemen, I, I, I love the sticks though. Let me tell you, I like the lax, and both of those gentlemen are bar heavy. Yeah, and both of them represent what they represent. The where the sticks are getting the lax today is hooks. Agreed. Now, Agreed. in order if the lax, in order for the lax to be competitive, they're first of all they're not competing. We're just creating a fictitious competition. Right, right, right. Don't want nobody throwing no shade our way. I don't want to hear no goddamn disc records or either. I like both of <laughs> you guys. But the only way that the lax can compete with the sticks is if Sin was writing the hooks, and then it wouldn't even be goddamn fair. Oh, just what if there was a collaborative record with the Lax and the Sticks? I think that'll be that, dope. That would be dope. Super dope. And for me, I don't think the Moonshine Bandits are far behind because they gave us, to me, one of my favorite records of 2020. They, hey, baby, what you got going on? Hey, man. See, see, you've been a fan of the Moonshine Bandits. I'm just, I'm just not there yet. I'm sorry. I'm not there yet. So, hey, man. We need more groups. Y'all definitely be on the lookout of the groups for country rap coming soon. Last but not least, man. God damn, the queen of the South. I don't, know, I don't know if I'm ready to give her that title yet. <laughs> queen of the sticks. We'll give her that. We'll give her queen of the sticks. We get, she can have that. She can have queen of the sticks. She can't be queen of the South. Though. That's Trina. Savannah Dexter just changed the game for country rap with <clears throat> country girl. Now, if she stayed in this lane, would you be mad? No. I don't think most of the men in the genre will be mad either. I just think as long as she doesn't abandon the term country rap, she will continue mm -hmm. to win. Okay. If she I, ever I, abandons, if she ever does any interviews saying, I don't want to be considered country rap, or she ever says, look, I just want to sing. That's when she might start to take her L. But even if she just sings and don't rap, but mm -hmm. she says she sings but keeps the sexism. Right. Which would be a whole new ball game because no one is even doing that in R&B or pop. Who has this type of sexism in singing? Mm -hmm. Maybe, nah, nobody. Like, Carrie Hilson was with it, but she hadn't made a record in forever. Maybe Tanaj, uh, Janae Aiko got it, but she don't flaunt it. Like, she don't throw it in your face. She just sexy with it. What um, singer is sexy with it and it's in your face? Eat this mm -mm. mac and cheese. Oh, no, family. Nobody with that. 
Ain't nobody like that. Well, there's probably a couple, but they're probably so low key that ain't nobody really taking them serious. The, the advantage that Savannah has is because she's the, the list of females that are over here is so short. She's going and she's already defined herself and she's already got eyes on her. If she went this lane or spent most of the time just with the sexism, she'll win. It's a, it's a win win. Now it's definitely come with a check from a major because this is a major um, asset. <laughs> no pun intended. And you know what's the dopest part about it? What's that? Because of the genre, country rap, she can continue to push that envelope without ever truly being vulgar. You're right. You're right. She can push that bitch all the way to the edge without ever cursing and being vulgar. So you know what, and, I, and you know what we're going to hear after this? Um, there's a man behind her that's pushing her to do this, or she's not staying true to the other ladies, or she's just being used, or just the, the it's all going to come out. You know, it's, it's going to be there, so I, hopefully they're ready for all of the, the shade because it's coming. I'm not saying that any of it is true, just be cautious of it because there's there's definitely shade out there and there's definitely hate. And when you look a certain way versus the consensus of the other people that are in the genre, then the the bitterness does come out because you're getting all the attention versus someone else getting the attention. Um, but it's it's hey, get your own lane. Like if she wants to be that, if she wants to be the Cardi B of country rap, then let her be it. That's a lane. Well, run with that shit. Don't slow down. Go, but if you're gonna do it, go balls to the wall with it. Don't don't half ass it. Just go on and do the shit. Just be, just be that. I'll be all of that, and be confident with it. Go get that money. Well, like I said, she definitely, definitely. They call her W. I'm gonna go watch some reaction. You know, I don't even want to watch any reaction videos of the song. I want to hear more people talk about it as opposed to reacting, if that makes any sense. Right. Like, I don't want to see people, ooh, ah, ooh. I want to hear some no, people. No, I don't think you're going to get that, fam. There's a reason why the video came out before the song. They, and, well, the song and the video came out same day. There's a reason that happened. It's because of the visual presentation that we got. It I, ain't about the song. I I'm now want to hear other people's opinion, but not the horny little toes. I don't know if you're gonna get that day one. Then you might want to wait next week. Yeah, I want I want to see people that's willing to talk about it and see if they see what we see. Cause like I say, man, this is a perfect rollout. If the major labels don't bite on this, I don't know what the hell y'all want. I don't know the hell. If the major labels are not on the phone today, if, at least by Monday, if I'm Mako, I don't know what the hell y'all want. Cause there's nothing more I can give you without making this girl. Cardi B. Right. She has her own lane. All we need now is somebody to drive the bus. And they're doing an awesome job driving the bus. So saying we need someone to drive the bus is not a bad thing. I think at this point, if they said, fuck y'all, and we're just going to do us, they don't lose. They don't lose. I can't disagree with any of that. Like, if they just say, man, we're tired of and we just, because at this point, there's no ceiling for her. Matter of fact, it will be bought. In, matter of fact, whatever Gator's price is, should, let me go see how many goddamn views this video got, bro. Yo, I was just looking at it. It was I mean, about 31,000 when I was there, but it, I mean, I'm going to check. It was doing about 1,000 per 10 minutes while we've, been, while we've been recording. Yeah, so. At this point, my price just, I ain't going to say doubled, but whatever my price was, it just went up. Because there's going to be some a and R's looking crazy as hell right now if somebody else swoops in. She is at uh, 39000 right now. The video been out 111 minutes. Now, a little I guarantee, over hour, I guarantee you that the video definitely will do more numbers than the streams. Spotify, iTunes. Oh, for sure. This is definitely a, a video presentation. This is 
It's all about the video for this one, fam. The last thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to keep it pushing, but I got to look up something real quick. Uh-huh. Um, so this song just dropped one week, officially one week after the City Girls dropped. What song are you talking about? The audio to twerk a later. Uh huh. I'm just saying she's keeping great company. Okay, you talking about this song? You on Spotify? No, no, no. yeah. The twerk a later is out by City Girls, right? The ladies right now. This is what. This is the movement, man. It's the movement. So is Savannah gonna be the the twerker of country rap? No, I think they got some more things up them. Up their sleeve. I don't think this Bruh. record is in that lane. Maybe I shouldn't even say anything. But they got a um dance record though. When when do. Gator drops it, when he drops it, it's it's over. Like everybody that's a female that's trying to get leverage or get some space in this in this genre, might want to try to get it now before she does drop that record. Because when she does, she's gonna be out of here. Like maybe even out of country rap. She could. That's a it's a top top twenty song, bro. All right, man. Well, when Gator texts you back, ask him if you can get it. Ask him if he'll let you hear it. I don't think he's going to respond. He will. The name of the song is Low Down. All right, man. So that's it for us. Country Rap Report just gave y'all four of them things. Oh, real quick, little Country Rap news. Y'all know we said that the Lats, Demon Jones, Dusty Lee, at the time we announced they had a 44 City tour coming up. Yes. Those guys just added four more dates, bro. Them niggas getting paid. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stop using that word. I apologize. They're going Them dudes to, getting paid, bro. They're going to hit 50. They officially just announced a Georgia date. They're coming to Rome, Georgia. Damn, they do Griffin still got the, the country spot off of 1947? No, they knocked it down. Oh, damn. But well, they, I, I can't see them coming to the VFW. Maybe they can do fairs. They can do fairs and shit. They're too big to do fairs. I don't think so. The last That's a, Demon Jones, Dusty Lee going fair, man. No. I don't. I don't know what they get paid, fam. Like I, it, I would, if I were to speculate, lax around fifteen, Demon around ten, Dusty five ish. You know, so we're at. Thirty thousand dollars for the all in for the tour. That's fair. Shit, they just a couple of these fairs I saw had genuine last year, like in well two years ago. He's at twenty thousand dollars a show. Right now? Oh, right now. First of all, D genuine wasn't taxing no fairs no twenty. He came off that price. I can guarantee you. He probably went up in the price because it was a fair. Fairs cost five bucks to get in, bro. I know, but it ain't about that. It's about getting people through the gate so you they can get in to see whatever the talent is. The fair is the fair demographic and the ticketing is completely different than a concert or what I specialize in in colleges and universities. Like it's a completely different thing. But it's usually the people go up in ticket price. You think a person can get twenty grand at the door on a Saturday night at the fair? Not it ain't the door. Ain't no door. You no, what, your I, well, no, what I'm saying is, at the fair, do you uh -huh. think they can get twenty thousand dollars in ticket sales on a Saturday night to pay an artist like Genuine? Oh, definitely, definitely. It ain't about the ticket. It's also about the concessions. It's because they own or get a portion of all of that shit. It's also about um, the gamings and or and the other entertainment that is there. Like it's it's if those people get people through the gate, and it, yes, they will do that. They will pay that. I've seen fairs where for you to get in was one price and you to go over to the concert section was a completely different price. And see, most fairs I've been to, the concert was included in the mission that particular day. Right, right. All right, man, that's it for me. We've talked so long that I don't know if we'll have enough time to do another one. Hey, we, we gave enough in, insight that people can be educated so that I've done what I was supposed to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please, please, please make sure you visit CountryRapReport.com. Check out our playlist on Spotify, Country Rap Tunes, please. If you're over on Live365.com, check out WCRR. 
I on i365.com. The way to access that is easy. All you got to do is visit live365.com. Go into the search engine. Type in WCRR or download the Live365 app. I thought I added it to the site. I didn't add it to the site. You might, but I'm just, for, for just I'm giving them all options. Okay. okay. All options. If I, if I, I'm looking it up right now. I'm looking on the site. I did not. I will add that today. The Spotify's on there. YouTube playlist is there. Um, I need to add the radio station. I'll do that. And make sure y'all check out our Facebook group, Country Rap Report, and follow us on Instagram at Country Rap Report. And last but not least, I'm going to shoot a commercial. Can I do a commercial? Sure. D do a drop. Go ahead. All right. All you <laughs> artists out there, all you aspiring country rap artists, would you like to have your music played on radio? Because there is no radio in country rap. Well, now there is. WCRR. All right. WCRR. Artists. We want you. Please submit your record to countryrapreport at gmail.com. Get in rotation today. How was that? That was good. That was all right. We're going to have to change that, that email, though, because we got the URL, so now we can just do music at countryrapreport.com. That'll okay. probably be easier. We don't want to do Gmail. Okay. All right. All right. And I just made that up. This good. Is kind of, this is kind of fun. <laughs> All right, man, I'm going to go get me some mac and cheese, all right? I'm on I my... am nibbling on watermelon still, bro. I'm on my fifth watermelon in a week. I almost said something that was not appropriate for this show. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm obsessed, bro. It has obsessed. no seeds? Stay seedless. I get the ice cream scoop, no, pull them eat... out. No, that's not genetically correct. I don't give a fuck. I'm not spitting seeds out, so I'm just gonna eat this. I'm good, fam. I'm good. How don't don't grow with no seed, bro. Um, GMO. <laughs> it's not from the earth, man. Hey, hey! God gave us the intelligence to be able to craft that that fruit, so it did not produce any more seeds. I'm okay with that. I'm okay, and I've lost five pounds. So fuck yeah, I'm okay with that. Eating watermelon? Bro, oh, it ain't number water and sugar. I'm a, I'm definitely okay with it. So you just, I mean, but you're, hold on, because there are going to be people going out buying goddamn watermelon and think they ain't got to do nothing else. Oh, no, I walk five miles a day. So okay. that too. But I, 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 the watermelon is what I snack on. I don't, I don't do the chips no more, all the other dumb shit. Like that shit gone. I fuck up a watermelon in a day, a whole one. So you changed your diet completely? I had to. I had to. All right, For man. Sure. Until next time, we gave y'all enough to, you know, enough fat to chew on. Gave yeah. y'all some enough, enough videos. En enough mac and cheese to play with. <laughs> All you fellas, right now, <laughs> after you watch this video, after you subscribe to the channel, after you check out <laughs> the Country Rap Report playlist for all the episodes, I want you to look your lady in the eye. Lick your lips like LL Cool J. <laughs> and say, baby, do you got that mac and cheese? <laughs> All right, man, that's it for me, your boy Vic XL. All right, it's your dude, Spike. Next time, y'all. Y'all be good. All right, y'all. Peace.